I think the big concern for for a, a lot of medical schools is is Nicole the kind of person that's going to be able to get it out day in and day out in the classroom. Well, welcome to another exciting episode of Am I Ready? Here on uh, MAPT TV, where we're going to be talking to a potential applicant for the 2022 cycle, find out all about her and what her story is, and uh, I'll make some evaluation about where I think things stand for, for her in, in terms of the process, and, and we'll go for there. So let me uh, bring on our guest for, for today, and uh, this is Nicole. Nicole, how are you today? Good. <laughs> Good. Good. Well. Yeah, great. And uh, as I understand it from our uh, little bit of introductory uh, chit chat before we got started, you're you're in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Yeah, good, good. And uh, now you work there at the, uh, at the Children's Hospital. Yes, I do. Right? I work in the clinical lab. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, good. Excellent, 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 great. Um, so let me uh, get our uh, mapped account pulled up here. There we go. And uh, so we'll look at this and kind of uh, start with that. Uh, so what we what we see here um, on the dashboard, the very first thing we see in the mapped account is uh, is the uh, GPA, the the uh, gra the graph of the of the um, Great grade point average and stuff. And uh, what we see here on this is the MCAS uh, GPA calculation of a cumulative uh, cumulative 2.79, a science GPA of 2.69. And we see some ups and downs here. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about what we're seeing, Nicole? Yeah, so I do start out with high school credit because I went to the mm -hmm. math and science school in Hot Springs. So I had some mm -hmm. starting out and it's like we're the 3.5 that semester. Mm -hmm. And then like in college, I'd had some bad experiences where I end up having to have some issues uh, where mm -hmm. I, my grades dropped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I build from there. I even transfer schools, got some help that I needed, all mm -hmm. that, all, the, all mm -hmm. those steps. Yeah. And, and my grades went up, improved, yeah. got, mm -hmm. got more scholarships. I even have to take a semester off because it ended up being five and a half years that I graduate because transferring okay. and everything. Right, <laughs> right. Now, the I do see um, now you graduated spring, looks like at the end of the spring of 2014. Is that, am I reading that correct? Yeah, with my bachelor's degree. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, that was in what discipline? Environmental biology. Okay, good. And uh, and then now you, uh, let me just, uh, what am I doing here? Let me look at the detail. There we go. And now you've got graduate school also, correct? Yeah, I have two master's degrees. So. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, so I was trying for a PhD things mm -hmm. didn't work out <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. um, but but i do have one master's from the university of arkansas in cell molecular biology okay. where i studied a norovirus that's what i did okay it's on food contact surfaces uh -huh. and then i came here to uams the medical school that's here in little rock and i was in a the biomedical science program with an emphasis in microbiology and immunology where i was actually studying a, with a mouse mo model of gamma herpes viruses okay mm -hmm. That's basically, yeah. 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 The great yeah. Different yeah. there. It's 3.4 and higher. So, yeah, like, sure, sure, mm -hmm. sure. So, different picture. Mm -hmm. Way different picture. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. Um, so, uh, now, so you have done a lot of research. Yes. <laughs> now, and in, in most of it is basic or most of it is clinical or it's a mixture or tell me a little bit it, about it. It's mostly basic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. And you've done that for a number of years. Yeah. About five years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And all there in Little Rock or also some elsewhere or no? It, it was Fayetteville in Little Rock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because Fayetteville is where the main university campus is. Mm -hmm. yes. And then Little Rock is where the, the medical uh, campus is. Right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So let me look at the, let's look uh, at your activity hours. Cause I know that's, that's a big portion of your uh, 
stuff. And, uh, mm-hmm. and a lot of this is going to be research, uh, right? Yeah, it's going to be a lot of research. I was like a TA also as an undergrad. Mm-hmm. I, I had none, I was a patient care tech last year for about nine months at the North Little Rock Baptist. Mm-hmm. And I came over here because I wanted to mm-hmm. work with children. So I came uh-huh. over to clinical lab. Yeah, so. yeah, makes sense. Now tell me about, uh, tell me about the patient, what did you call it? Patient care? Tech, yes. Tech. Pa- uh-huh. tell, me, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, so part of the time I was in the pool, so I did like, I was in the ICU feeding COVID patients. I was in the uh, step down, like cardiac area. Mm-hmm. I was in all over the place, like uh, in rehab. So it was floating around. But then half the time, like um, was it summer 2020? 20, yes, 2020, I was actually in the ER. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. most of my doing EKGs, vitals, all that sort of thing. Right. So lots so. of clinical acti- lo- lots mm-hmm. of clinical hours in, in all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good. All right. Well, that's very positive. I mean, the, the, the benefit of those clinical hours is, is clear, both in terms of, you know, letting you know what that's like, uh, mm-hmm. but also uh, giving you a good window into what is the daily life within the context of medicine look like, you know, mm-hmm. et cetera. So, yeah, that makes a, makes a lot of sense. Um, now, your interests are in terms of medicine, tell me a little bit about that. Cause you've got, you know, all these clinical hours, but then you've got this vast array of, of research uh, activities and stuff like that. What do you sort of want the future to look like for you? See, I really am thinking about pediatrics for sure. And I'm thinking it's going to be, end up being a specialty, uh-huh. um, probably infectious diseases or something like that. And I do right. like when it comes to pediatrics and specialties, you tend to be at, at, at the academic hospital. So it's going to be right. more likely like I was thinking about clinical research and trying to go that route. Okay. Okay. But also being a professor and doing all that, which what, what right. happens in an academic hospital. Sure. Absolutely. So. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, having, been within the context of academics, both in a, in, in the purely academic setting at the University of Arkansas uh, in Fayetteville, but also now in in the in the the academic health science center setting. Um, you know, there there's a lot of opportunities there, and it, it takes uh, it, it it definitely is something that you have experienced, and that you you know what you're getting into with regard to that. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, good. Um, all right. So let's let's talk a little bit. So we've got a lot of activities here. I'm not going to go through through all of them, but yeah. you know, you, you've just got a whole lot uh, of mostly. You know, there's there's publications here, mm-hmm. uh, thesis, uh, obviously shadowing and stuff like that. But all but a variety of things that are clinical, uh, but um, you know, just uh, anything that you want to say about about that, you've even, um, you know, th- there's just a vast array of things here. Yes, I've done a lot of things. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, some, I guess some of my meaningful things are, of course, uh, volunteering between um, undergrad and graduate school. When I was at go, I, w- I was actually a resident volunteer at Heifer Ranch as part of Heifer International. Mm-hmm. Uh, its headquarters are actually here in the um, in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. So that was very min- meaningful to me, just volunteering and um, teaching global education and like, par- like mission of Heifer, Ran- at Heifer International mm-hmm. and like just uh, simulating like how other people might live and what hunger and property looks like and how we can right. like do our, how we can individually change our lifestyles to improve, even if it's like little things we do a day from buying right. fair trade to just thinking about what companies that we support and um, using our dollars to do that. Right. So, right. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. Big service, big service yeah. Service. Oh, sure. That's, that's awesome. It, you know, shows a lot about your heart. It shows a lot about what you find to be important. Uh, and uh, that's really meaningful. So that's awesome. Very, very, very good. Very good. Um, let's talk a little bit about the MCAT. Yes. Um, <laughs> Uh, so what we see here is, I guess, is that was the September the 11th, 21, was that your first real MCAT score? Yes, that is my first real MCAT, MCAT score. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have um, in uh, just, uh, what, about three months ago, we have a MCAT score of 495. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have some um, 
practice uh, MCATs, half length, uh, ha uh, half length diagnostic type things, uh, you know, sort of around that area. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about the MCAT and, and kind of how you're approaching it and, and what your, uh, you know, what, what your goals are with regard to the exam. Yes. Now I'm actually part of the blueprint um, tutoring program and on mm -hmm. online. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. And I have been doing that since like October, I think. October, okay. November. Mm -hmm. So like I'm starting to progress that way. Good. Because I was okay. like, I needed help. Like, yeah. I can, it's not terrible, but it's, it needs a permit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and tell me a little bit about that. You already have another exam scheduled or yes, no? I do. Or, and For when May. is that? May. Okay. May 14th. Yeah. May 14th. Okay. So mm -hmm. that gives you basically about five months mm -hmm. uh, to, to uh, improve on that. And, uh, and I think that's, you know, clearly something that needs to happen. I mean, this is no secret to you. Um, mm -hmm. We, uh, we want to see uh, a, you know, I would say, you know, um, I, I would be looking for a fairly substantial increase, uh, mm -hmm. substantial being, you know, you, your scores at a 495, I would want to see it. You know, I think if you could uh, realize a 10 point difference, mm -hmm. be up to at least a 505, uh, I think that would be important. Uh, particularly with your academic past, I think that the medical schools are really going to want to see, you know, the, the, the improvement there and, and the, the ability to, to perform on the exam in a way that's going to be meaningful. I think that would be good. Mm -hmm. Um, the, uh, and, and I'm, I'm encouraged that you're, uh, you know, getting the, the, the help that will, you know, hopefully make a difference in that regard. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's tough because I'm, I'm assuming you work full time. Yes, it's tough for that. <laughs> so you're working full time. You're doing MCAT prep. Uh, you got a lot going on, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Part <laughs> right? of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, how's that going in terms of balancing everything out? It can be tough. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah. I do. I am studying more than I did previously. So there okay. is that. Yeah. I feel like there is some improvements. Like even with my car's pra practices, I'm getting more right answers. So I'm Good. starting to realize how like the MCAT is structured and how they answer it, how they ask questions. Right, right. So and th that I know more too. Confidence is the big thing too. I know yeah, a lot more absolutely. than I think I do. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, confidence is huge. Uh, confidence is huge in the in the application process. It's huge in the interview process. You know, it's huge in the clinical. Uh, you know, in the uh, clinical setting as well. Confidence. Mm -hmm. That's what patients want to see is confidence from their yeah. from their caregivers. <laughs> and uh, and so absolutely, that makes total sense to me. Um, now I want to look here at the medical schools that you're looking at. Looks like you've got. 14 that thus far you have identified uh, on your mapped account. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, the two, uh, I guess there's, I guess there's three in Arkansas. Yeah, um, three. <laughs> yeah, the, the, uh, the two osteopathic uh, medical schools and then the, uh, and then the UAMS uh, mm -hmm. obviously is the, is the main one there in, in Arkansas. Uh, you've got several other, uh, quite a few other DO schools, mm -hmm. um, the University of Missouri, Kansas City MD uh, program you've got identified there uh, as well as uh, Puerto Rico. Now, is there's a connection to Puerto Rico for you or no? There is a camp. They have a campus in St. Louis. Oh, in St. Louis. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> I was All like, right. Yeah. I was like researching like how people, how they screen because my mm. GPA is going to be right there. And it's hard going to move that up no matter right, what I do because right. I have like 190 credits. Right. It's just right. going to be hard. So yeah. if they're going to screen me out, I'm not even going to apply because it's yeah. just a waste of money. So that's what I like was looking and try to in the area. Like, right. Sure. The area where I live. Yeah. So. Sure. 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 Good. Okay. Um, so it, it looks to me like that what you're, um, in terms of the, the schools you're looking at that a, a lot of DO schools. And mm -hmm. so tell me a little bit about, um, you know, kind of how you, uh, are moving forward in terms of the, um, of the application process and stuff like that. W what's going to make the difference for you in terms of, yes, I'm going to apply, uh, 22 or no, I'm not going to apply 22. W what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, so 
part of it, of course, that impacts my a big portion, mm -hmm. but it also like it's it depends on a lot of things because I may just go ahead and apply to a small group of them because like mm -hmm. UAMS has right. like a post back program now that uh -huh. you have to apply and not get accepted to apply for it. Right, so, right. So it's like it may just be a small selection or mm -hmm. maybe the whole group. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure, it depends because I am yeah. going to also uh, work with. The, the former director of missions for UAMS, she has a, a, a company now to help like write your personal statement, and mm -hmm. do your application. So I'm going to have some help with that as well, too. Good, good. <laughs> so. Okay, good. Yeah, that's that's positive, I think, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, good. Well, you know, I think that you're definitely thinking about it in the right way. I think the DO schools are probably going to be a good um uh, a, a good direction for you to go. I, I also like, you know, applying to the, the select number of MD schools that you've identified. Uh, obviously, UAMS is kind of a no-brainer. You definitely want to apply there. Uh, and then the others in Arkansas as well. Uh, and But I think you're going about it in the right way in terms of being uh, thoughtful about what schools you're, you're applying to, et cetera. I, I do also agree that the... Um, you know, the MCAT's going to be a huge part for you, uh, mm -hmm. as it is for a lot of people. Um, I think if you can, uh, you know, do well on the MCAT, well-being, I would say you want to set a goal maybe somewhere between 5 and 510. Does that sound kind of wor what you're thinking about? Yeah, or? it's actually it's like a 505 to, and higher. It's like I was yeah. thinking. <laughs> yeah, good, good. So. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, you've got... You know, I, you you obviously uh, have a, a lot of um, experience in the clinical setting. This is a big positive for you. You you uh, have um, you know uh, you know what you're getting into. Uh, you know what medicine is all about. Uh, you know what uh, research is all about both in terms of basic as well as clinical. So, you know, you've got a lot that is, is really very positive in your application. Uh, I definitely would encourage you in terms of the, uh, in terms of the UAMS post back program, I think that would be potentially a, a very good option for you. I think the big concern for for a, a lot of medical schools is is Nicole the kind of person that's going to be able to gut it out day in and day out in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's some question in my mind about that because of your GPA, you know, history. Mm -hmm. um, my feeling is that many medical schools look at graduate work a little bit differently than they look at undergraduate work, mm -hmm. uh, particularly when it's uh, when it's in the hard sciences where you're a lot of that stuff's in the lab. You know, you're not, you know, in the classroom, you know, day in, day out, you know, taking exams and stuff like that. It's it's just a different sort of animal. Does that make sense? Yeah, it is. It's, yeah. It's, it's hard to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you've gone through it, you know. <laughs> right, exactly. And so what I would say is because of that, it, 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 it may be a little bit difficult, uh, particularly with the MCAT struggle there, uh, the, the lower MCAT score. Uh, so I think that's why the MCAT's going to be important, you know, really important uh, for you. I think it's going to also be important to be able to um, really show uh, in your personal statement, in uh, the secondaries and all that stuff. So I think the guidance that you're getting and the help that you're going to get for that is going to be very important, uh, really to uh, to help tell your story in a way that's going to make a difference. It's going to be meaningful for uh, a reader for the admissions committee to to get a sense of, you know, what what is this whole thing about for Nicole? That's mm -hmm. going to be uh, really pretty crucial, I think. So, um, so all in all, Nicole, I, you know, securely, you are definitely a, a yellow light. Um, I think there's, there's, there's several things. I mean, you could have figured that out yeah. probably on your own. Uh, there, there's a couple of things that are, you know, kind of, uh, uh, not known yet. Um, obviously the MCAT being the biggest part of that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I would say, you know, um, I would say what, what I would anticipate you wanting to do would be um, to uh, you're going to take the MCAT May, you said 14th, correct? Yeah. And, uh, and so around mid June, 
you're going to get that score back. I would go ahead and have everything ready to submit uh, as soon as you could, you know, submit it, uh, it with anticipation that that uh, MCAT score is going to be higher and it's going to be more in the area that you're interested in, that you're wanting to see mm -hmm. and uh, and let that stand, you know, to show the medical schools that you have the capability to translate what you know up here into the reality of doing well on the exam. Uh, that's going to be, you know, really important. And uh, you, you've got a lot of the other stuff that I think they're looking for. You've got, you know, there's volunteerism in your, in your, uh, in your file. There's a lot of clinical activities in your file. There's obviously tons of research and stuff like that, both basic and, and clinical. So th there's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, and I want to encourage you in that regard that th there's, there's, you know, you've got a lot of good stuff going on. Um, uh, there's just, you know, there's a couple of areas where there's needs to be some, some activity there that, yeah. to show <laughs> that, uh, that, that, the, that the capability is there. Um, so I definitely think the MCAT is a, is a huge part for you. I also think that, I, um, you know, in, in the perfect world, I would want to see some classroom work that says I can do the class. I can do classroom stuff well. And uh, the reality for you is a little difficult with that because you work full time and you can't just like quit your job and go to school. Yeah. And uh, and so that that makes it tough. And uh, so what I would say is, um, you know, uh, consider uh, the. Uh, the UAMS post -back program is maybe a potential opportunity to, to do that and to, to be able to show, you know, yes, I've got everything else, but now I'm going to show you that I can do school well. And, and that's not a small thing in terms of the medical schools being able to see that you have the capability to, uh, as I say, kind of grind it out day by day in the classroom, in a classroom setting to take exams, to do, you know, the work uh, that uh, that is about school. And uh, and I think what the picture that you have here in terms of your academic past doesn't really suggest that. Yeah. And so that's and, and you know, again, that's no surprise to you. You yeah, know that already. <laughs> yeah. And so so I would say, you know, think about the, the post back program there at UAMS. If that if that becomes an opportunity, I would you know, definitely strongly encourage you to consider that as something that would really help out uh, your application. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, in terms of next steps, I definitely think the MCAT is, is where you got to put all your all your money, you, you know, all the all the effort. Uh, it's not easy. I mean, working basically you're what you're looking at is, is two full time jobs. One is studying for the MCAT and one is your job job. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you kind of get that. And, and, uh, but, um, uh, you know, you, you do the best you can, you, you work hard, uh, take opportunities when you can to, uh, to, uh, to do practice, uh, exams, uh, and, and then, uh, and then see kind of where things, where things stand, uh, come, you know, late, late May, early June, mid June. And then, uh, and then you'll know better about what, you know, what should happen. But I would say, I would, I would definitely say, um, that, um, that a, uh, a better MCAT score is going to help you. It's not going to address the academic issue, uh, mm -hmm. but it, at least it will say I have the sort of mind power, uh, mm -hmm. here to be able to, to do this and to translate what I know, as I said, into, um, into uh, a good score on the MCAT. So, so all in all, what I would say is I think you're doing the right stuff. I think mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, getting the, the, the blueprint stuff and really committing yourself to that is, is, is a huge part of that. You got about five months to, uh, to make that, show some some you know real substantial uh, gains there mm -hmm. and if you can do that then i would say you know i'd say go ahead and apply knowing that uh there is an issue that you really don't have the capability to address at at this point and that that being the schoolwork part mm -hmm. does that make sense does yeah that, it does mm -hmm. yeah okay and uh and then you know uh the uh, the the uh, post back at, at UAMS, you know, hopefully, depending on kind of what the realities of that are and everything, if that if that might work out, uh, I think that would definitely be something that I would strongly consider. 
Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, any questions or concerns that I can address for you uh, while we're while we're doing this? I think I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> my guess is that I told you kind of what you already knew, but you need to you needed to kind of yeah. hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it does. Yeah, I get that. Good. Well, I, I would encourage you, uh, Nicole, to, uh, you know, keep a positive attitude. Uh, you know, you you uh, you want to um, uh, really uh, do the best you can to make the best effort to make this happen for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, and and I encourage you to really uh, uh, to do that in a way that's going to uh, to have positive results in, in May for the MCAT, but also in the in the application process itself. But, uh, you know, let us know uh, and map if there's you know anything that we can help you with. And uh, but we'll uh, we'll look forward, you know, maybe at some point in the future, uh, you know, let us know how things are going. OK, I'll do it. <laughs> OK, great. Well, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, totally. Nice. OK, <laughs> take care. Thank you. OK, bye bye.